Welcome back to Miami Art Week. Tell us your name and about this piece of work. Absolutely. My name is John McCabe. I live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And this uh, particular photo was shot in Badlands National Park. I call it the Yellow Mounds uh, because of the area in the park. Uh, it is duly noted that it is actually called Yellow Mounds and for good reason. So uh, this is my one of my favorite spots in the Badlands because of the way, you know, the road, of course, leads a person into the photo, but it builds into the middle ground, the background, and the sky. It's multiple elements, multiple uh, sort of ecosystems happening in one shot. So it's something I really enjoy. Yeah, someone who grew up in the United States, I was telling you, I, the Dakotas are like a mystery to me, and I've never really <laughs> seen them. I know about Mount Rushmore maybe, but that's about it. So when I saw this image, I wouldn't have even known that it was South Dakota. And you mentioned that there's cornfields on one side. W what causes this environment to occur? And is this a typical landscape up north? Uh, it's a typical landscape in, in western South Dakota, part of northern Nebraska, northwestern Nebraska, and part of western North Dakota. Uh, but it's a, what it is is a very highly erodible soil type. Uh, in fact, the Native Americans named it the Badlands, which uh, actually stands for Mako Seco. Okay. Uh, or make you sick. Okay. Uh, uh, and so it's, uh, you know, in some ways disregarded as any form of usable land. Uh, but obviously, from an artistic standpoint, uh, from a natural resources standpoint, it's worth protecting because of its highly unique characteristics. And there's something going on here. I'm not a photography expert, but it feels like there's almost no depth to this image. Right. How did you do that? Uh, believe it or not, it's a, I, I literally stood uh, bottom left on the road uh, and took the photo down the road, uh, and it literally stacks straight up. Right. And But it goes forever. Uh, uh -huh. In fact, these... You know, the, the tops of these hills in the background, some of those are probably five to eight miles away. It's and incredible. Yeah, it's just a, a very uprising photo. I mean, it really is. And, uh, and what made you decide to take it that way? Is it the camera that you're using? Was it intention that you had? It was complete uh, intention. I wanted to, uh, for sure, I love the, the road. Mm -hmm. The road that just walks you right into the photo. Yes. Uh but also the way the yellow mounds uh, in the foreground here sort of start to give way more into this, you know, highly erodible uh, background. And, and then it just continues on. You have three or four different color changes. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I almost cropped the sky completely out of the photo, but I had to leave a little something. It just kept building. Uh -huh. uh, and so that's what makes me want to take the photo is it's. I mean, how many different elements are in that one shot? Right, right. And every time I go there, I can take the same shot and it looks different. Incredible. So yeah. how long was was a certain time of day a choice? You know, how, how long were you standing out there before you were like, this is the image? Yeah, this was late afternoon. And anytime I go into the Badlands, I, I always go for a sunrise. Mm -hmm. So I'm usually in the park by 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and this is late in the day. Uh, this is probably three thirty or four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, and we're starting to get closer to the golden hour mm -hmm. uh, and getting some nice soft light. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will stay in the Badlands until dark. Wow! You know, so I'm usually there twelve to fourteen hours. So is this part of a series of photos from the Badlands? I do have. Uh, I, I would call it a series. I haven't named it, mm -hmm. uh, but I do a lot of my photos in the Badlands. Okay. Uh, for two reasons. One is because I, I live close to there. And two is because I want to raise awareness uh, for the sensitive ecosystem that the Badlands are. And in that regard, I can work with uh, local conservation groups uh, and, in fact, donate pieces uh, for them to raise money to protect the area um, or, or sell them myself and then donate, uh, you know, part of the sale. Well, this is an amazing image. Uh, this is a first of its kind for me. <laughs> I've never seen an environment like this with so many different um, layers from, you know, the, I don't know if this is wheat or grass, but then it goes up to this really barren land. 
It's very beautiful. It's very impactful, like the way it stacks. Yeah. Um, and I look forward to seeing more of your photographs. Thank, Thank you. you so much for bringing this here. Absolutely. Yeah, congratulations for showing it. And, and we appreciate you um, bringing this to us because it's so different, I think, from, yeah. from what Miami's used to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a unique landscape for Miami. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you so much, John. Yeah, appreciate thank it. you.